Hey guys, it's Regant here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to easily tame an angler in Ark and also gonna explain the abilities to you. So let's go! So, first of all his taming stats. To knock out you will need plenty of narcotics. Uh, food would be the best kibble, second best raw mutton or you can also use meat. It ca can be only carried by the two though. It spawns on all maps except Scorched Earth and Extinction and the difficulty is 3.5 out of 5 points. So let's start. So first of all a small tip if you want to tame him here on Valguero you can go into the aberration zone right here and then you can go on the left side here into this swamp area here and here you will find uh, multiple anglers in shallow water so it is much easier to tame them you have some carnivores here and some carni uh, kakinos and stuff but if you get rid of them you will have a very easy tame here from the beach or something so make sure to keep this in mind if you're playing to on Valguero or you have access to the map and also on Fyodor make sure to check out this beach on the swamp or multiple beaches here since here often deep sea creatures getting stuck somehow you see here some megalodons and some electros here and uh, multiple anglers and this will make it for you much easier to tame them but be careful since here are also many carnivores and yeah for example also this knitter also this guy here so yeah, just be careful, but these are two locations where you can easily tame them. But um, now I'm going to show you how to tame them in deep sea. So for going into the deep water, we have not two options. First of all, it's the scuba gear. We can just put on some scuba gear and start diving. I would definitely recommend using, for example, an Ichti uh, to, to go to the location where the anglers are. Otherwise, you will be way too slow. So just take an Ichti and swim where you want it to have. The, also a huge benefit on the Ichti is that you can shoot off his back, so this is very useful, so you don't have any problems with that one. The second option is to take a Diplocolus and ride it inside of the water and then just dive with it. It's also pretty fast, so you, uh, you don't have to worry that uh, a Megalodon will catch you or something. And the huge benefit from the Diplocolus is that he has infinite oxygen and while you're riding it you also have almost infinite oxygen like it's not infinite but it's you have it so long that you will have m plenty of time um, to tame an angler yeah to knock an angler out then you obviously have to go off his back and start shooting and as soon as you need oxygen you can either take oxygen off the diplocolus or start raiding it again so then you can do it also very easily and another option would be to take an Ichti and ride it and if you don't have scuba gear you can just uh, yeah, take the Diplocolos with you, take oxygen, ride the Ichti again and so on. You can just continuously repeat this. Um, yeah, Then you are still quick and you have your scuba tank always with you and you can still shoot off the bag from the Ichti since the Angler is also not that slow. So these are two or three option, um, options on how to... yeah try to survive in the water to tame the angler since we have to go into the deep water. But let's start now the taming process. So I'm gonna use now the strategy with the, the Ichti and the scuba tank here. Um, now we just have to find an angler in the deep water here somewhere. So there we have one and now I would definitely recommend of, on getting rid of the dinos first here they are already coming and try to kill you like everything here wants to kill you so make sure to take some stuff with you where you can kill the creatures and the water with otherwise it can quickly happen that you will just die by taming the angler so now i have killed i think everything in this area and we can start taming you can also by the way net gun the anglers this is also sometimes very helpful so now you can just start shooting the first arrow for me is always no, it's completely bugged right now for me but it's hitting so so I have an animation bug right now but you see my arrows are hitting and now you just have to shoot until the angler is knocked out um, it can also happen that he will attack you but you will be much quicker with your ichthyo so don't worry about that at some point he will start fleeing from you this um, yeah you just have to follow him then it's also very useful if you have then a short timer on the on the net gun left so you can easily get him. 
again into the net gun and before he goes into any bad creatures here. And yeah, you see he's already knocked out. Now we can put food into its inventory and the taming process starts here. So another strategy would be to build a small trap. Just build a 3 by 2 stone foundation here. We have to go here like this. Then we need door frames too high all around here. And then a dinosaur gateway here like this and obviously also a door and then take some stone ceilings and build a small roof here. So in the end you will have a small cage like this one here. And now we need our anglers here. And then you just have to lure one inside, close the door. And you're good to go and start knocking him out this way. And what you can also do is just to build a small water trap on the beach and lure an angler into it and then just start knocking it out. And one more important thing that you have to consider that the torpor is reducing very quickly so make sure to take enough narcotics with you. So but what are the abilities of the angler now? First of all you see we don't need a saddle um, so we can just start riding him. And the probably best ability of him is that he is a very good or the best Silicia Pearls farmer. So just grab him, go somewhere where you find Silicia Pearls, for example this spot on Fjordo right now. And you can just farm them with the Angler here. For farming I would definitely, definitely recommend um, skilling weight and melee damage. On top of that if you kill an Angler and you harvest it you get Angler Jail. This can be used, for example, to light fires, since you can, it's, a f it's like a fuel, it's um, much much better than wood or anything else, and you can just f uh, put this into your furnaces or somewhere where you need some fuel or just make a fire and just burn it. On top of that, you also need it for taming mantas, so this, because mantas only eat the angler gel, and you can also get angler gel very easily with two tamed anglers by doing this. So we just gonna mate them and make a baby. Let's wait a second. There we go. Then let it obviously hatch. There we go. And then just kill it. And there we go. We have infinite Angler so you just have to tame two, one male and one female and you can always produce angler gel in your base and you don't have to hunt wild angler. So that's the end of the video, I really hope you liked it, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section below and see you in my next video. Bye!